Hello, we are here for the lesson number 13 and it's called Selecting 2D Objects. As the name says, we are going to see about different methods to make selection on the 2D environment. So, uh, basically, and before showing uh, how the selection works, we must explain why this is important. Uh, in on the majority of the commands that we can call modify commands, before we s we say to the program what to do, we must make some kind of selection. So here we can see on the menu edit, we still did not see the command itself, but we can see that, for example, these kind of commands trim, extend, explode, break, whatever. There are a couple of more. For example, these commands transform, rotate, scale, and so on. These commands must have some kind of selection because their function is to change something on the entities or uh, change the entities or change, it, change them of place like this translate and rotate and to do the commands to execute the commands we must select objects this is why it is important to show what we need to see in this lesson i will work and to be easier i will work only with the delete okay but the principle of the selection is the same so um to show you how this will work I will open again a drawing that you already know that is sample one included on the standard installation of the program so I will open the sample one and as you know because you've seen already this on in some of the previous lessons uh, this file has some 2d side which is what we want to see now so, basically, the selection works like this. Uh, if we try to make some of these commands I talk about, and I will use the delete to, to show this, when I do the command, the first action that appears on the screen is a call out from the program saying, please select me object so that after the selection is done i will execute the command under certain information certain circumstances certain data that i will ask you but the important is the selection here so this toolbar that appear will appear also in all the other commands and basically we need to see what each one of these things will do Okay, so let us start. First, selection is saying to me, as you can see down here, select objects, in this case to be deleted, but select object. So, if I choose the first option, which is the line, then you see that if I'm not clicking in anything, but basically it just allow me to choose lines when I cross over the other types of entities, they are not available. The same for the splines. This is, in these three things, this is a filter. Uh, probably splines, I don't have any. Okay, but we know that is the same. And the same for the circles. In this case, the circles are open, but the lines not anymore. So basically, these three act as a filter. The same still for the points. I, th I think, okay, you have some points here. I will zoom in a little. When I cross over, okay, you see that the point changes, okay? Again, this is a filter for the points. And it will be a filter 
for the symbols the symbols i don't have any inside because the symbols is something that we've seen here in this drawing the standard drawing from one part i i did not uh, make insertion of any symbol uh, the same for the arrows okay um, i'm not sure if i have any here because this is a dimension not an arrow an arrow is a call out of something so i don't see any arrows here the same for the edge which is this kind of entity okay and the same for the text which i don't think i have any also here and still the same and finally for the dimension okay now neither of the other entities is available so these first functions basically are filters and allow me to choose among only the type of entities I need. So it's quite useful. Besides this selection, I have a couple more possibilities. And now I start with a new bunch of uh, possibilities with these, these guys here. The first one is select all objects. Okay, we've seen that everything is chosen. I will do the escape key on in my keyboard to start again. And this, these three, these four guys here um, allow me to choose with a selection window. And uh, they have uh, different possibilities. So the first one is something that says to me completely inside. So if I choose, I will try to show you here. If I open a selection window, I click and I open a window until I want. So um, let's see the example because I'm saying it is completely inside. Let's see an example of this uh, dash line which I will be um, leave a little outside. And as you can see, this line was not chosen for the selection. Okay. So all the entities should be completely inside the selection window. The second option is just inside. I will do a very similar selection. And in this option, if the, s the window that I'm opening crosses the entity, it's selected. So you see now I've done the same thing, but now it was selected. The same with the outside. So if I open a window like this, all of the outside will be chosen. So I'll do X again to start. And completely outside. So if I cross these entities, everything will be chosen with the exception of these that I'm crossing. Okay, these are different possibilities for your selection. Um, so besides this type of selection, I can have a selection by layers. Okay, uh, we've seen uh, already that the layers is uh, a form for um, organization of the entities on the drawing. So if I have um this organization done layers so i'll try to choose the layers dimension okay in entire drawing yes so all the dimensions are inside and if i had the the care to prepare everything before i can do a selection by color and by color i will try to do uh, okay this uh, purple in entire drawing and you see that this is a, a sub window that even uh, saying by color here i can choose I, ca I, I can look for a partial portion of the drawing instead of entire drawing but in this case i will i will say entire drawing so these guys are selected um, i can do a selection by line type 
okay and I can choose for example these dash lines and you see these lines are selected um, and finally I can do a selection by object type and basically this is resuming all the f the initial filters okay basically it's the same if you come here or come do this filter if you do here is the same okay so uh, all the options are done with the exception of one that I, I, I leave to, to the end but now is, is important the two concepts first is the concept that when we are selecting and we are in the middle of a selection um, before I say OK and execute the command I can do this the deselection and say hey I made a mistake I don't want this entity to be selected and this one okay whatever I want and this one okay so it's a possibility before the confirmation to say leave this alone um, we have another possibility that is the undo command with this red arrow that says hey go back okay and things go back in this particular case it was not a very good example but let us try to uh, do the selection and in this case without any filters just manual selection okay with of some entities okay and do back 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 and it goes back one entity at a time okay uh, to the last and before we see uh, some other detail uh, we still have we have these two functions uh, related to the 3d side so at this moment it will be not important to our lesson um, but there is uh, still one other function and we've seen one in one of the previous lessons to create a work set so basically uh, I can do a selection by work set so if I click on this okay I don't have any work set done here but if I have uh, if I have it done I can say hey choose object from work set one okay it's empty it's giving me the, the message but it it's um, the idea is this one so all of this selection and if you remember the idea was to make a command so when we when we do all the selections with all the options we want and uh, after everything is done I will do the OK or what we say as finish selection and the command will be executed okay uh, it said the message below okay and you see that what was selected was deleted because we are on the delete command um, and basically is is this okay uh, we have two more concepts that I would like to show you before ending the um, the lesson so to do this I will show you uh, I will delete this guys here with the simple selection individual okay um, there is one special case and uh, I will execute one of the commands that I still did not show you but for your understanding uh, I said that when we do these of these commands here and the transformations we need to select objects and that toolbar that we've been seeing will appear but th th there are some exceptions and for example in these commands fillet chamfer for example chamfer uh, the selection is different okay and we can do a selection because the idea is to make a chamfer or, or, the or a fillet and I don't have um, the, the concept of the command is not to choose a huge amount of entities I just need to choose two entities so I can choose them individually like this or I can move closer the edge and you see that this very small arrow will appear and the selection is done by this action then I will do the I will enter 
the the values to execute the chamfer it's not important for uh, for the, the 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 lesson just the concept of this little different selection okay uh, besides this th there is one more related command and this uh, definition is under the tools menu and the system settings that you already seen some things and if we go to the 2d area i have one thing here which is the 2d object selection settings and basically we've seen a little about this in one of the previous lessons um, this is a, a specific definition for the the selection and one of the things is the aperture size of the cursor we've seen already and the other important thing that i want to show you is the behavior of the selection window okay um, this has automatic uh, an automatic behavior with this condition when we open the window on the directions that are shown by these arrows for example um, if we open a window starting from the lower left corner to the upper right corner uh, this will have automatically um, a behavior to choose only objects completely inside okay let us try and, and see this after I close this so you can click here and say hey, I, I don't want this behavior for this condition I can choose one of the others but basically is for your understanding that these conditions will act for different behaviors let us try this one um, if I do again a selection and I will click this on this direction I will do a completely inside so these big vertical lines will not be chosen and as you can see they were not chosen this one and this one okay basically th on that definition you can work and put the um, this type of, of, of behavior to um, a point where you are comfortable and uh, probably that you bring from uh, previous experience in other programs so with this concept the lesson number 13 is ended and uh, i hope to see you on the next lesson that uh, uh, will be released very shortly